Hi everyone, it's Cassandra Donnelly from Creative Passages, and I'm here in one of my favorite spots. I call it my God spot. I like Smith in Virginia Beach, and um, I just love spending time out here. And today I'm just overflowing with gratitude. And I want to write a blog about it, and I thought maybe I'd come out here to, to work on my blog. And then I thought, well, I haven't done like a video. I, I used to sometimes do videos out here at Lake Smith, and maybe just share whatever was on God's heart. But really contentment is on my heart right now because I've just gone through, you know, a hard trial with, with my grandson. And I mean, my whole life has been trial after trial. But I feel like not only did like God bring me through the trial with my grandson, but there there was like a 12 year trial where I was questioning God about things. And on my birthday, God provided clarification and answered my, my questions about that. And that brought a deep resolution to me as far as my, my spiritual questions, my identity, my, my ability to hear from God, you know, because for 12 years, you know, that, that made me doubt myself and, and question myself because there was so many attacks and interference coming from the enemy to derail me and to try to trip me up. And I had to look at what I thought God was saying to me from all different kinds of angles and really just look at the possibility, you know, that what if I hear wrong? So I am a prophetic person, and so um, you, you could say that whole experience was destabilizing, but yet in the instability of it, it took me deeper into to Christ. Like I had to, I had to move deeper to really like search out what is the truth, and how can I be sure that I'm hearing God correctly. And um, then w once you come out to the other side of that, then or once you come out to the other side of any trial that you're going through, there's just so much peace that, that you have and you just develop a, a deeper security in the Lord and a deeper connection to yourself. And um, there's no describing how beautiful that is and how grateful I am to, to have that in the Lord and to, to be sort of coming to a like a resting place and um, I thought well today I'm going to go to Lake Smith and I'm going to enjoy my time here not only that but um, like I, I recently got over shingles well I still have just a trace amount of it like I got over it in like in two weeks time which is like supernatural to begin with I got some homeopathic medicine which not only treated the shingles but it like treated other inflammation or pain in my body or arthritis or maybe even bursitis like <laughs> all the pain just went and um, I feel five to ten years younger in my body and that is a precious gift I mean I guess you could say I was grieving just being older and, and you know I just turned 55 and, and not having done the, the things that I thought you know I should have done by the, by now or just feeling like a sense of time being stolen from me but you know I've I've since submitted to the Lord um, like whatever my hopes and, and dreams or desires or my tape timetable for life I laid it down at the foot of the cross and I submitted to him and it maybe took like a, a good long while including you know even the, the the 12 year you know promise questioning you know I laid that down at the feet as well and just all these things that I thought that I wanted or needed or, or thought I should have within a certain time frame, I just submitted that all. There's something beautiful about submission. Like when you're willing to lay down your life and to just trust God no matter what you see manifest in your life at the moment. There's something so beautiful and transformative about that when God brings you to a place of deeper trust in Him. And I'm telling you, it's worth the trials that you have to go through to get to that place of deep security and surrender and this, this deep abiding that I, that I feel in the Lord right now. And um, 
I just want to share that because maybe you're still in the midst of the storm. Maybe you're still being challenged. Maybe it feels miserable. But know like God is your strength and he's going to get you through like he was my strength. And even when I didn't have any strength whatsoever, he was my strength. And that's also what I love about the Lord is that you don't do anything in your own strength. You do it in his strength. It's all in his time. And it's like everything, you, the more you submit to him and to his will, the more beautiful your life turns out and the more peaceful you are and the more joy that you have and then there's just I was gonna make the blog post about um, contentment and, and like how it related to the Israelites you know how they were grumbling and complaining and like they had to eat the manna for a long time and they were unhappy about it they asked for the quail and God gave them lots of quail and the quail went all rotten and they ended up doing 40 years in the desert but they weren't obedient to the Lord. They just were complaining and grumbling. But I kind of related to them. Um, because, you know, I grumbled and complained for a long time about my lot in life. And about how unfair things seemed to be for me. And, you know, I'll just admit it. Life sometimes does seem unfair. Some people get more breaks than, than other people get. And some people, you know, have more adverse circumstances than other people have. Um, but I'll tell you what. If you have the Lord, then you have an advantage um, and that vantage makes all the difference in the world and so if you're willing to trust the process and to cling to him all the way through um, no matter what Satan brings your way no matter what adversity you you encounter you're going to overcome and you're going to get to the other side of that and I, I wrote about this in my previous blog post a, a major insight that I came to recently is that we've got to come into agreement with the Lord's plans because as you're going through the trial and the challenge of life um, you know Satan is going to present himself he has he has an assignment for you too and he wants to get you off track and he wants you to come into agreement with his plans he wants you to come in an agreement with the fear that he's bringing and the torment that he's bringing and the lies that he's telling you like maybe about your future about who you are about who God is to you or you know whatever it is even about your body or your mind you know about sickness he'll try to get you to come into agreement with that sickness and with that infirmity and with you know that lie and if you come into agreement with it then you're basically giving him permission to orchestrate that that infirmity or that sickness or that that hardship or whatever it is in your life and I'm not saying all your hardships are because of you know agreements that you made God allows some of those things to come upon us to um, well I don't understand it all but I think that sometimes um, th there's permission that you know we can be tested and and um, but God can use those testing and trials to produce in us endurance. Well, it says in the, in the Bible, you're going to have tribulation from the world. So I guess the, the thing is you have to figure out how to line up with God's will and not unwittingly line up with any like testing or, or trials that are outside of the normal persecution you're going to face from the world and from the enemy. Like don't sign up for anything extra. Um, and if there's sickness in your body... Or in your mind or if there's fear then just break agreements with that and then really like refresh yourself in the the truth of God's Word about healing and maybe meditate on those scriptures day and night um, just meditate on those scriptures and find ones that you can apply to your particular situation like for me like I stand on words about my family being saved and being delivered I stand on those words and I, I say Lord in your word you said this that you shall save my children and my children's children. You said in your word, if I ask and that I, I believe, um, you will save them and set them free and, and heal them. You know, whoever I ask for, just based on the, the faith, you honor that faith. And um, based on your word, you know, I am seated in heavenly places, so I can take authority and I can take a dominion over the powers of the enemy and I can say I break your hold and your power over me or over my family or over my loved ones I break it in the name of Jesus and then you can release God's healing and blessing and love and joy and um, 
I mean, I had to like learn how to walk through this. So it was pretty much a, a, like a tiring, tiring battle, exhausting battle. But I feel like I've kind of like walked through quite a bit of it and I'm uh, at a resting place. And um, it's like, a, it feels like a major breakthrough and victory for me. And my heart is not going to stop being full of gratitude and it's gotten to the point where like I'm trying to recount and like I want to make the blog post all those little things that God's done for me that I want to remember you know like this and that I want to remember all these little things that God did for me because I don't ever want to forget how special God is and how much he takes care of me and how, how much he really loves me and um, I'm nobody special I mean I'm not any more special than you are but God is special and he has that same grace and that same divine plan for all of us. And um, it's so liberating to um, come into agreement with his plans because there's so much peace that you feel and so much contentment. And then, you know, he's beginning to like, I, I guess I'm beginning to feel sort of like a synergy um, with all, like all my life events and like the end time calling and ministry that he has for me like um, like an end time shepherd but even like bringing like the dreams from my childhood um, to me and just how he's training me you know prophetically as well and how he's been training me as a warrior and you know like I'm a, an end time warrior um, for the Lord and um, it's um but the, the thing is, it's, it's just all in his power and all in his grace. And um, at this very moment, I just am I'm resting in that. So I just want to bless you, encourage you all with that. Bye.